Hi, in this video I'll be upgrading my Lenovo Legion 5 6th generation 2021 edition with more RAM and a second hard drive. You can use this as a rough guide if you want to upgrade your Lenovo Legion 5 as well. If you want to see an unboxing for this laptop and more info about this particular variant, you can check out the video in my other channel. Links can be found in the card and in the description. For the second hard drive, I got the 1TB Samsung SSD 980 NVMe M.2. This will provide ample storage alongside the 500GB M.2 that the laptop came with, which I'll be mostly keeping for the OS and other programs. This is a 2280 form factor drive which specifies the length. The Legion 5 is stated to hold up to two drives, a 2242 which is a shorter form factor and the 2280. You might want to check what types of M.2 your laptop can support before making a purchase. For the RAM I bought 16GB dual channel kit from Crucial. Make sure that the RAM that you're getting is so dim or laptop RAM. I was tempted to mask the Samsung RAM already in the laptop. However, dual kits like this are often calibrated together for optimal performance, which you won't get even if you manage to get the same brand and type of RAM. You can find links to both of these in the description below. Now before we open up the laptop, we need to disable the built-in battery for good measure. So restart the laptop and wait till the Lenovo logo is displayed and press F1. You'll be taken to the main GUI. Click on more settings at the bottom of the screen. This will take you to the BIOS settings page. On the left hand side click the configuration tab and on the right hand side scroll till you find the disable built in battery option. And if your BIOS is like mine you will find a small typo in the heading. This will power off the laptop. Make sure your laptop is fully charged and the AC adapter is disconnected before doing this and opening up the laptop. Now open up the laptop by turning it upside down and taking out all the screws holding the cover in place. Mine has 10, yours may vary. I also placed them in the screwdriver kit lid to prevent misplacing or losing them, and in the order I removed them from the laptop as they have varying lengths. After that, gently pry open the edges using the proper tools, or in my case, plastic items of various descriptions. Now patience is key, don't rush or force it which could possibly break the casing, or worse yet, damage the electronics inside. It took around 11 minutes or so for me to do this. Once that's done, the heat shield for the RAM can be removed by gently wedging in a plastic tool between the holders on the board and the shield and gently pushing it in. You can remove the existing RAM chip by gently pressing either one of the clamps on the side holding it down. A little bit of pressure and it should disengage, and then you can easily lift it out. Next up is inserting the new RAM sticks. Make sure the clamps are disengaged and don't worry about which way the label is facing. Just ensure that the notch on the board where the pins are line up with the holder. Gently slide the pins into the holder till it's completely in. Again, don't force it. It will sit at a slant. Now gently push it down and the two clamps will lock down and you will hear a click. Repeat for the other stick and place the heat seal back and press down until that locks and we're done. Next up, remove the seal for the second M.2 drive. There's a screw at the far end of the connector which has to be removed before inserting the drive. Take the drive out of its case and slide it gently into the connector with the notch lining up. Then place back the screw to hold the drive down in place and tighten very lightly. Now just replace the heat seal and screw and if you want to test everything is working, place the cover back on and power up and check everything is being recognized. Once that's done, place back all the screws. Once the laptop boots up, you'll need to initialize the new hard drive before it can be accessed. You can check out this video of how to initialize a new drive to see a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. Links can be found in the card or the description below. And there you have it, your Legion 5 is now upgraded and ready for action. I hope you liked this video, if so hit that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel to help me grow. Thank you and goodbye.